It's polling day in Simpang Juram and Pulai today, and the results in the two seats are set to test the unity government's strength and cohesion. The two candidates from Pakatan Harapan, Suhai Kayat and Nazri Abdul Rahman, will have to overcome a host of challenges if they are to be elected as the new MP and state assemblyman respectively to replace the late Salahuddin Ayub. PH suffered a less than optimal outing in Simpang Juram at the 2020 state assembly elections in March last year. Since then, there has been a decline in Indian support for PH, UMNO's poll among Malay voters has palled, and there is a possible voter protest over Ahmad Zahid Hamidi being discharged in the Yayasan Akalbudi corruption case. The opposition Perikatan Nasional now looks to steal the show in Simpang Juram, banking on a swing of votes from BN supporters. For PH, the Simpang Juram poll will also be a test of whether PH can rely on UMNO members. A DAP leader, who wished to remain anonymous, said the 6,000 UMNO members in the area are very aligned to a particular UMNO leader who may not be in favor of the unity government. In the Pulai parliamentary seat, on the other hand, PH faces the possibility of having to face disgruntled non-Malay voters. The turnout of non-Malay voters will be crucial for Suhaizan to retain the seat for Amanah and PH against the challenge from PN Sulkifli Jafar and independent candidate Samsudin Fauzi. Pulai's electorate consists of 44.5% Malays, 40.2% Chinese, 12.2% Indians, and 3.1% other ethnicities.